Hey there, I'm Jenny Oates, and if you'll give us just a second, Marin and I are gonna get ourselves set up. She's gonna be joining in on this here, and I've gotta just wait just a second until she gets in. Ah. There we go. It's about to start. Marin's about to join us. If you know Marin, she's the party. The big epic moment. We're waiting for you, Marin. You're coming. Okay, if you're just joining us, we're waiting on Marin. She is being added as we speak, and I think we're just having a little bit of internet delay. Hopefully, not too bad. Come on, Marin. There we go. It's connecting. <gasps> but you're upside down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was awesome. It took so long. It, I knew it was this epic <laughs> moment. That's so weird. Who knew it could do that? Okay, let me think. That was amazing because it was like we were all waiting in suspense. Where is she? <laughs> and then you were upside down. <laughs> That happened. Okay. Yeah, Hold on. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you. We've got some people yeah. on. Excited, it looks like. Ready to jump in. Yay. Hey, Alex. Nikki. Whoops. Hey, Beth. Oh, yay. Hi, Caitlin. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, yay. Hi, guys. Um, super fun. Oh, look, we've got Kim and Monique, Cassandra. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could join tonight. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we kick off with a little giveaway just for all the people who are live right now with us today. I'm going to randomly scroll and then pick a name. Okay. And we're going to do a giveaway. Ready? Caitlin. Yay. Caitlin. How do you say your last name? Rostioli. Am I saying that right? Rossioli? Rossioli. Anyway, you just want to sample Yay. oil for me. I'm going to, and we're going to get a really good one in your hands to start playing with. Um, yay. Well, welcome everybody. We're super excited to have you here tonight. Um, I'm just going to start really quick and just share a little bit about, um, yay. Okay, good. Um, just share a little bit about myself and my little oil journey and, um, why I'm so excited that you guys are joining us tonight. So let's see. Okay. So I've been dabbling with oils now. I don't know what, two and a half months. Yes, yeah. probably. Yeah. Two and a half. Um, I wanted to share with you the top four that I'm loving. Mind you, for those of you listening, and I can always discuss with you later in private if you're interested, but I was like major skeptic. In fact, Jenny was also a major skeptic of oils before she started as well. And um, like totally thought they were like placebo, waste of money. Anyway, spent a ton of time doing some research, found out they're actually quite legitimate. And there's a lot of studies out there showing um, the effectiveness of them. And then I actually have been using them myself and like blown away by some results. So I wanted to share the top four that I'm loving. Um, and then I'll just turn the time over to Jenny and she's going to kind of do like an essential oils 101 class for us tonight. So let's see. Okay. First, I, um, and let me check what time it is. Okay. So I actually had, um, some of you guys might know, like, so cold sores, if anybody gets cold sores, it's like called HSV one. Anyway, it's like a virus that kind of like sits dormant in your body and under stress, it kind of like comes out. So mine never comes out as like actual cold sores, but I get the flu like symptoms, which some people get this. Anyway, I've had this for like several years now and I've had to be on Valtrex like every single day for the last like four years to keep it under control. So Jenny knew about this issue and she recommended to me that I try on guard and Melaleuca and to do like a drop um, on my feet. And so anyway, I went cold turkey off of my medicine, which I've been trying to do several times over the last four years. And I was able to, with the Melaleuca and the on guard, completely end my medicine. And I've had like no issues. I was able to get off of it. Every time I tried to get off of it, I got these flu-like symptoms. And this time I was able to get off of it completely. So I've not been on the drug for like two months now, two or ever since I started, two and a half months. So um, that blew 
my mind because I've tried like everything to boost my immune system enough to get off of this because that virus comes when your immune system is weak. So I'm thoroughly impressed by that. So that's one thing. Um, peppermint. I was having kind of like dull headaches in the morning. Like I was probably taking ibuprofen. I don't know, like three, four times a week like a in the morning. You're taking it like a vitamin. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It was your I'd like wake day. up in the morning and yeah, I was like, I'm like, it's my ibuprofen time. I would just wake up and be like, oh, I feel like I either haven't drank enough water or I'm just like off and, you know, my head hurts. And so I would like take ibuprofen and that's like how I'd start my day for like probably three or four days a week. So anyway, now I wake up in the morning and I do like a little bit of peppermint on my temples. I do, I'll take the uh, little, like, I have a little sample bottle that I put it in because I like it out of the little ones. And I do it like, I'll do a little line down like that and I'll rub my hands. And I'll like kind of rub it on the back of my neck like that. I love that. And then I'll put like a little drop on my fingers. And I actually call this my pepper tent. Did I, I told you that, Debbie, no. right? That I call it my pepper. I'm coining that. It's the pepper tent. So I'll put it like a little drop there. And I put it like this. I like tent it. So I call it my pepper tent in the morning. And I do my pepper tent. And I'll breathe it in for 30 seconds. Anyway, I like have not had to take ibuprofen for headaches in the morning. Like there's maybe been... I don't know, a handful of days that I felt the need to do that. But most, mostly now, like I don't have a dull headache in the morning, which is like huge for me. So that was another thing. And then um, I've been using lavender at night. I would always wake up like every night at like two in the morning and I'd be up for about an hour just with my mind racing, not necessarily anxiety, but just like, just thoughts, like what I was doing the next day. And now I put one little drop of lavender on my feet. I'll do one little drop of orange on my wrist and wild orange on my wrist. And then I am so, uh, like, I fall asleep within probably 10 minutes. Even if my mind is racing, I fall asleep within like 10 minutes. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I am so drowsy. I'll go to the bathroom. I lay back down. I pass back out. Like I'm not wasting an hour of sleep just like, you know, with my brain running. So now I've been sleeping great. Even there's been like so many nights now that I fall asleep. And I will wake up seven hours later in the exact same position. Like my neck will hurt because I've held my head in the same spot for seven hours. <laughs> it's like I don't toss and turn anymore. So it's super cool. So that's another one. And then the last one is Digest Zen, which is like amazing. Oh my gosh. If anybody has like, I don't think I have irritable bowel syndrome, but it's like basically close to that. If you have issues with like digestion or food, like if you start to feel a little bit of like a stomach ache coming on, I would just take one drop of digestin and I'd rub it like on my belly, right underneath my belly button. And I kid you not, I've done this five times now. Within five to 10 minutes, my belly, like my stomach, it's not like, I don't feel like, oh boy, a stomach ache's coming on. It's like totally calm. And that's happened five, five times now, legitimately. So that's been huge for me because it's like something I could throw in my purse. And if I'm out for a day or whatever, and I'm feeling like my stomach is just feeling off, like I can throw that on and it just like steadies me. So that's been like huge. So anyway, those are like the main things that are, I mean, there's like a million others because even frankincense has been getting rid of stretch marks. I mean, like I could go on and on. So whatever. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pass some time over will. to Jenny and I'm going to introduce. What? I said, which we will. This is exciting. Yeah, I know. Um, so let me introduce Jenny to you guys. I know Jenny. I've met her about 14 years ago um, through a, a different circumstance, not even like through business. And anyway, we've kept in touch over the years and um, she is just quite frankly incredible. She's been in the health industry for, gosh, maybe an upward of two decades maybe and has had three six-figure businesses that they've run. They're very, her and her husband, Nathan, are very entrepreneurial um, and they're just like super, super amazing in terms of health and figuring out how to kind of have like a holistic lifestyle with natural, like, well, living with oils, but also they have kind of a fitness like background. I don't know. They're just like amazing. So I'm really excited for her to talk with us tonight about oils and just to kind of give us the basic rundown for those of us who are dabbling with this for the first time. Awesome. Yay. Well, thank you, Maren, for Yay. having me. And thank you for just entrusting to me just um, your amazing friends. I'm really excited to do this with you tonight. So um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and kind of untether us and I'm going to take over the screen here, but then we're going to add Maren back in here in just a few minutes. All right. See you in just a minute. Great. Okay. Well, thank you for having me tonight and welcome to our natural solutions class. I'm super excited to be with you guys. As Marin said, my name is Jenny Oates and my husband is Nathan and we are business partners. We've been in business now together for about 10 years. 
Um, and we are entrepreneurial minded. We did not start that way. My husband was a pastor for 12 years and we just love people. I think everything that we do really stems out of just having such a desire to see lives impacted, um, to see lives change. That's why we were doing what we were doing before and what we're doing now. And really ultimately it is about changing lives and making a, a bigger difference and a, and a bigger impact in people's lives. And we just every day love what we do. We get to see the ripple effect of it. And you're a part of that. And that's why I'm here with you right now, um, having this conversation with you. And I'm really excited to be a part of that. And as Marin said, um, my uh, background was not, I did not grow up in a healthy space. I did not grow up um, where I really understood anything about nutrition. Most of what I ate came from a box and a can, um, which may be like most of us in that era, um, but there wasn't a lot of focus on nutrition for me. And I struggled in high school with an eating disorder and really went down track. I went from about 120 pounds down to 82 pounds. I was an athlete. Somehow I managed to play my way to division one, even with um, struggling um, with that and got a division one soccer scholarship. I got married to my husband two years later and we had four kids in six years. So it was just a whirlwind of several years back to back. And in that space is when the love for nutrition was really birthed, the love for health really, primarily because my health was deteriorating with so much happening and playing at the level that I was playing at. Um, having babies as fast as I did, which it was like surprise and then surprise again and just kept being surprises. I mean, you thought you think we would have figured this thing out. We knew how it was happening, but we did just didn't expect it so fast. I got pregnant a month after we got married. We've been married for 16 years now. Um, I have a 15 year old, if that doesn't tell you something. I've been married for 16 years and have a 15 year old, 15, 13, and 10. And, anyways, um, so that journey for me once you introduce little people if you're a mom or a parent a dad a grandparent listening to this you understand when there's other people that you're responsible for it changes the game and it was I, it should have changed the game enough that my health was on the line there was a lot of issues that i was facing and meeting my husband changed everything he really introduced me to natural nutrition showed me a better way and really put a question to me years ago and i want to ask you this question as we're starting this class off is how is what you're doing working for you and i came to the table to him going i don't need that i don't need nutrition i don't need supplements i don't need whatever you have and he said really how is that working for you and when I stopped and really looked at my life, I realized it wasn't working for me. I was passing out in practice. I was having constant stomach aches. There's a lot of health issues that I was struggling with. Like Marin said, I was struggling with migraines. There was a point in our marriage, I had 10 to 20 migraines a month and I was struggling with fibromyalgia. I had a two year period where it was very, very intense. And so there was a big season for me of just sickness. And so I went on a quest to figure it out for myself, but also for the little people that were in my life that I knew I wanted to equip to learn how to live healthy lives. And even if it was never something that I taught them necessarily, I didn't feel like it had to be all this knowledge. I feel like more is caught than taught with our children. And I wanted them to catch it. I wanted them to catch it from me simply because I was just living it. And that's what's happened. That's what's happened in our family for the last nearly two decades. My children have caught it. My family's caught it. They've learned how to do that. And that's one of my goals for you tonight is to empower you, is to equip you as a parent or as an individual to really know how to use essential oils for yourself, um, to walk away from this class a little bit more educated, and really to, to have that education wrapped around what your specific needs are. So if you'll do me a quick favor, I know that we put some stuff in Facebook earlier, but if you'll do me a quick favor and if you'll go ahead on this thread and just write out what are your top health priorities, give me one or two or three, give me something that you would say, if I found a solution for this, it would change my life. And maybe if you're so bold, write down why and is it time quality? Is it um, I'm sorry, is it quality of life? I mean, are you just feeling like, like I was, I was at this place of like, okay, I'm alive, but I feel like I'm just breathing. Like, I don't feel like I have quality of life. I was to the place where with my little kids would run up behind me and give me a hug and surprise me. I would cringe every time because I was in so much pain with what I was dealing with. And um, whether your situation is extreme or you would say, oh, it's not really that big of a deal. Really stop and ask yourself, 
is it a big deal? If you get stomach aches or you get headaches like Marin, those are big deals. Those are things that are robbing you of abundant life. They're robbing you of just thriving. And I really, I've seen now on the other side of those things, what life can be like without the pain, without those things that we call normal. And we get used to them, we accept them, but we don't have to. And so that's the exciting thing about today is that you're going to hear some solutions for those specific things. So awesome. Shelly, I see you're talking about sinus issues, um, Marin immunity boosting, hormone balancing. We've been having that conversation um, and just daily rest, stress, relief, anxiety. Um, this is great, guys. Keep these coming because what I want to do is I want to take the next few minutes together and I really want to wrap this conversation around your health priorities and your goals. And so um, if I forget something, please just comment again. I'm looking at comments on a different place. It's not coming up on my phone for some reason. So um, there we go. I can see them now, I think. Okay, so let's jump in. So as Marin said, I had some background in health and nutrition, but what I was introduced to early on because of playing um, division one soccer and sports, I was introduced to supplements. I was introduced to protein and changing my health that way. And it was an awesome piece of the puzzle for me. It radically changed my life. But for whatever reason, I took essential oils and I put them in this category of unnecessary. Um, I didn't need them. I didn't see a place for them in my life. They felt very hokey to me. They felt, um, I just didn't understand them. Let's just be really honest. We live in the Western, a Western society where everything is popping a pill, swallowing something, and then magically it does what it does in our bodies and it fixes it, right? And so I did not understand how rubbing something on or smelling something or diffusing it, how it could actually change my health, how it could impact my health. So that was a big stumbling block for me that I had to get past with essential oils, but I'll tell you how I got past it. I got past it simply from experience. And I don't know if some of you ladies and gentlemen have actually tried essential oils, Throw that out for me. Tell me if you've ever had any experience with essential oils. Yes, no, a little bit, a lot. I don't know what the spectrum is that you're coming to this class with, but maybe some of you have had some experience with essential oils and some none at all. I had none. And my first experience with essential oils was because of a migraine. And I was going to a chiropractor. I was checking everything off the list, everything that needed to be done, drinking water, resting, all these things. And I was having numerous migraines a month and a friend gave me peppermint and said to try it. And I had an experience where one came on and I actually decided to try it. And this skeptic um, decided, okay, is it worth it? Okay, let me just go try it. Nobody's looking. And so I went and tried this oil and put it on my temples like Marin said and breathed it in. And within a couple minutes, um, I was very surprised how my headache started to lift you know that pain behind your eyes where you're like the light hurts i can't even open my eyes i could actually open my eyes and then i was like okay let me try it again after a few minutes i tried it again and the migraine completely lifted that had never happened to me before and i was not taking medication for my migraines i was just kind of like grinning and bearing it and suffering through um so at this point i you can say that i quickly became a believer because this was robbing me. This was something that I did not even realize. I mean, let's be honest, ladies, when we don't feel good, and especially our men, um, we try to hide it pretty well, but we can get cranky. And I'm telling you, I don't know what happens when my husband gets sick. I would say this to his face too. But when he gets sick, it's like, I don't know if your, your men do this, but man, when they get sick, it's like, um, I don't know, like the whole world stops. So like as a mom, when you get sick and you don't feel good, you have to like just power through and powering through with headaches isn't good. And at some point you get cranky. And I don't know if that's maybe some where you're at at this point in your journey is you're trying to power through some of these things, or maybe you just have some small things and you're looking for some natural solutions to those things. So we're going to talk about some of our top 10 natural solutions for you tonight. But before we jump into that, I just want to um, tell you a little bit about um, the fact that, so you know a little bit where essential oils came from. I'm seeing a lot of um, smiles about that. You must have men that you have had this experience with. <laughs> so I'm not alone. That's good. I know I'm not alone. Nathan is not alone in this. Um, but essential oils have been around for a really, really long time. Um, they've been around for thousands of years, which actually surprised me because I had just heard of them. So of course they can't have been around for very long, right? And I see some of you have said, Rhonda, um, a couple of other of you, Katie said, said you've had no experience with essential oils. Well, just because 
you and I didn't have experience with essential oils till maybe now or more recently or in the years past, they've been around for thousands of years, which that gave me so much comfort because the, the vitamin, what we know of as vitamins did not come on to, into play until 1915, a hundred years ago, guys. So essential oils have been around since before 3000 BC. They have found them in Egyptian tombs even still alive. That's how long these stay alive. And if you fast forward some years, Hippocrates is the father of modern medicine and his favorite oil that he used was actually oregano. He really used it like an antibiotic and he was famous for really using essential oils and willow bark for pain, um, using them to help people find healing and support for their health. And if you fast forward into, um, uh, if you've heard of Jesus and you have, are you familiar with any sort of Christian faith at all? Frankincense and myrrh were given to baby Jesus. And I don't know if you've ever thought about, we're gonna talk about frankincense tonight. It's, they, it was given to him in the resin form, but it's turned into an oil. We use it as an oil and it has such healing properties and it's amazing cellular healing and support. And so um, that's even really neat if you think about the symbolism in that. Fast forward into 1900s, into the 40s, there's some interesting things that really begin to happen to society. We started to create synthetics and plastics and pharmaceuticals and all these things to speed things up, to make life more convenient and easy. And in the process, what we did is we got really, really far away from natural things. So we, we got away from, you know, picking the lemon and the natural form of it to creating very, very synthetic or semi-synthetic forms of things. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit tonight. Um, but in that process, health has deteriorated. Um, if you look at the United States as a whole, we spend more on healthcare than 42 countries, but we are dead last in health. And that is shocking and startling. I mean, we spend so much on healthcare, but what is healthcare? Healthcare today is paying for co-pays, doctor visits, surgeries, so you're paying for once you're sick to go get a medicine for that that typically has a side effect we're paying for surgery let's remove something um we don't need that you know we're paying for these things that it's actually crisis care it's emergency care or sick care it's not health care so if we want to create health care for ourselves that's where we as individuals have to begin to be proactive and i'm not against western medicine um, i'm not against that at all if i if my child breaks their arm um, or something's you know out of place, like an oil is not gonna like grow it back and like put it back in place. I'm gonna have to go to a doctor. So I hear me say I'm not against medicine and using doctors in the right place, but tonight I'm gonna operate in the context that you're here because you want health as a lifestyle. You want to know how to help and promote that in your body at the cellular level. And so fast forward to 2008, this is when doTERRA came on the scene and doTERRA, um, has been around for 10 years now and we started the, this company this company started with something that is one of my favorite things about doTERRA and it's called co-impact sourcing i don't know if any of you have ever heard of co-impact sourcing but essentially what that is is doTERRA's commitment to source our oils in the environments where the plant should be grown but in partnership with local growers local farmers and just the locals in that area where we help them create a sustainable lifestyle and income for themselves where we don't poach their plants and their products and some of these plants have been this is what's inherited from one generation to the next they literally pass on frankincense plants um, or capayaba plants whatever the plant is they stay in the family and that's the family business and they'll, there's a lot of people that come in and just treat these people very very poorly and what doTERRA does is we make deals with them where we pay them on the front end they're getting money right away to be able to live and sustain their families and we also come in and if that community needs a school we build them a school if they need running water because the kids have to go they can't go to school because they go hike one and two miles a day every day to haul buckets of water back to the village and in these scenarios this is where sex trafficking and um, so many different things happen to these boys and these girls where doTERRA is literally stopping that. If you want to look this up, look up OUR, Operation Underground Railroad. It's one of our um, amazing nonprofit organizations that has been birthed out of this co-impact sourcing movement that has helped stop hundreds and thousands of um, sex traffickers and help free children. And it's all starting because of doTERRA's commitment to say, we want to source the best natural plants 
and in the environments that they're grown and make sure the people that are providing those are taken care of. We want to provide for them. So it's amazing whenever I purchase a bottle of essential oils for my family, I'm actually impacting my family, but I'm impacting somebody all the way around the globe who literally can eat today and eat tonight because of doTERRA, where many of these children like went to bed hungry and maybe ate one meal a day or not at all. So super cool. If you get a few minutes, go on YouTube and just type in doTERRA co-impact sourcing. You'll see some really amazing videos that will make you cry. So get ready, grab some tissue and, and pull up the tissue box to the YouTube channel. Okay. so. The whole point of all of that is essential oils have really been around for a very, very long time, but they really, we got away from natural things and doTERRA has really been that um, company that has come in and said, there is a massive need here. There's a massive need. There's a hole that needs to be filled that people have gotten away from this. Let's get back to the earth. And if you don't know what doTERRA means, it is Latin for of the earth. So everything that doTERRA creates is from the earth. It is natural. There is nothing added. When you look at frankincense, what are the ingredients? It's frankincense in its purest form with no, no pesticides, toxins, or anything added. So that is what is amazing about our products. It's of the earth. And if you were here with me right now in my home, I would be doing, let's see, um, I would be taking some wild orange and I would put this in your hand because I know it's late right now. If you're watching the replay, it may not be late for you, but I would want you to put some wild orange in your hand just like that and rub it together because at times like this, like right now, breathe it in and it's an energy boost. It's amazing. I can't wait till you get your hands on some. And so I just wanted to um, show you that like whenever you're, when you're down or you're feeling your energy drop, just take that wild orange is one of my favorite, most favorite, favorite oils um, for an energy boost. And um, okay. So I, if you have a pen and paper, or I don't know if you've got your class guide, if you downloaded that, if you're taking some notes, you can follow along, but I'm just going to tell you really fast, three cool things about essential oils. So I'm going to tell you three things about oils. I'm going to tell you three ways to use them because that's one of the questions I hear a lot is great. I know what oils are. I know how, what they are now. How do I use them? How do I apply them? And then we're going to talk about some of these specific solutions with some of the things that you, you guys are throwing out for me. Okay. So here we go. Three cool things about oils is first off, they're natural. And I know I've said that they're straight from the earth, they're plants, but let's, let's talk about this for a second. When you look at, if you have your class guide, you'll see a mic, you'll see a leaf. Let's pretend we're going to talk about peppermint here for a second. Um, you've probably seen a peppermint plant. Envision the leaf with me for a second. Where does the oil come from? It is the microscopic little bead. Of, it's an oil sac that sits on that leaf. You can't see it with the naked eye. It's the aromatic part of the plant. And it comes from either the leaf, the stem, the bark, the root, or the flower. Okay. And so the way that we get that is a lot of times steam distillation. It's not the only process, but it's a process of where the, the steam brings all that oil to the surface and, and we scrape that off. We scoop that out. That's how we get the oil the, in the purest form. The cool thing about this is the aromatic part of the plant is this amazing technology, if you will, on the plant that God has put on there to protect it. It protects it from predators. It protects it from viruses. And when you and I use the essential oils, that aromatic part of the plant that has that technology in it, we get that same protective technology in our body, which is phenomenal, which is why you heard Marin's story that it has helped her specific to fighting virus and to fighting sickness and, and building her immune system. That's one of the things that it does. But the fact that it's natural means you're not getting all the harmful synthetic additives with that. So if we took, if you, again, if you're with me right now, I would want you to do this. So when you get your essential oils, I want you to do this. I want you to take peppermint and I want you to put a drop in your hand. So you saw how I did that. I just tapped it right in. Some people like to pour it out. It takes a little too long for me. So I just tap it in. Rub your hands together, and then I want you to breathe that in for 30 seconds. So literally, especially with peppermint, it's very strong. I can feel it right now with my eyes. Um, I can even feel it in my eyes. Don't touch your face, but take a deep breath. And what I want you to do is I want you to inhale it so deeply that you literally, you'll feel your sinuses clear. I can feel them literally clearing right now. So if you're congested, uh, congested at all, if you have any respiratory issues, uh, peppermint is excellent for digestive health. You've heard Marin talk about, um, and myself talk about headaches. So 
breathe that in for 30 seconds and then I want you to take the rest of it and I want you to rub it into your neck and on the back of your neck. And why are we doing that? Well, one, tension. Sometimes headache comes from tension. Rub that in. The second thing is it's cooling. So if some of you are in the phase of life where you get a little hotter, peppermint is going to be your very best friend. So I don't know why, but when I was pregnant, I guess I know why, it's hormones. I got hot flashes all the time and I so wish that I had had peppermint then because oh my goodness, like within about two minutes, it cools the body. So a lot of moms will use, it, use this when their children aren't feeling well and their, their temperature skyrockets to help bring their temperature down. Um, you can just put a drop on the bottom of your kid's feet. You can dilute it with coconut oil and rub it down their spine to really help uh, bring that um, body temperature cool, to cool their bodies off. So peppermint does some amazing things. So that one drop, that natural drop that I just put in my hand, it is the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea. So you and I would have to drink 28 cups of peppermint tea to get the benefit of an herbal tea. So how many of you, I wonder, um, have, have um, and you can throw this out if you want, but have used herbal supplements before? If you have, that's great because you're on the right track, first off. You're doing something amazing for your health. You're taking something natural, hopefully. Hopefully it's a really good source of an herbal supplement. But if you've done that, it's amazing but it's not very potent. So you probably have noticed you've had to take a lot of them. Um, I took alfalfa for a long time for respiratory health and um, found I had to take 10 at a time where I can do one drop of this because it is 50 to 70 times more potent than an herbal supplement that because it's that microscopic little aromatic part of the plant that you can't see and it takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those microscopic drops to equal one drop that I just got in my body. So that is amazing and it, it is amazing um, and that it's so potent you don't need as much, you can um, use a little bit. My kids absolutely love this first off because they're not having to swallow all the time. They're getting to just like you play in this amazing smelly stuff that is so fun and so easy for our health. So that's peppermint. So the first cool thing about essential oils is that they're natural. Okay, the second cool thing about essential oils is um, that they're effective. So I mentioned to you kind of this Western mindset that we have, this modern mindset we have of when I'm sick, what do I do? I run to the doctor, um, I get a medication, or I have surgery, or I do these things. That is our healthcare model. What that model really revolves around is tell me your symptoms and I'll give you something to, to fix it. But a lot of times, and most of the time, because that thing, that medication we're taking is synthetic, it is really, it can help that, but it's really masking it like a Band-Aid a lot of times because it's actually causing side effects. If any of you are on medication, again, there is no shame, there's no condemnation in that, but I challenge you, Google the medication side effects. Just Google them. And it's sometimes frightening to do that, but I just challenge you to do it because sometimes we're like, oh, it's not a big deal. Doctors would never tell me something to use that has side effects, but this is what I want you, what I want you to understand. Anything that is not alive or that synthetic has a side effect and it causes our body, basically, um, our body doesn't recognize it as alive and real. And so nothing non-living, something that's non-living cannot produce life in our cells. So when we're talking about needing something that's effective, it is effective, but it's ineffective in that it's causing side effects for you and it can cause something else to shut down. So what we want is something that's effective, but that doesn't cause the side effects for yourself, for your kids, for your family. So I want to give you two reasons really fast why essential oils are so effective. Number one is that they contain hundreds of compounds. What I mean by that is, again, let's go back to peppermint. Peppermint has 282 different compounds, I believe. If you put it under the microscope, that's what it comes out to be. I'm not the scientist, but the scientists that have studied it, that's what they've found. So those 282 compounds are so effective that it makes them versatile. So you've heard me throw these things out. It can, peppermint helps with respiratory health. It can help with my headache. The reason it helps with your headache, by the way, little side note, is peppermint's a vasodilator. It opens up your blood vessels so that the blood can travel through without like getting, it's real tight and constricted. That's part of why we get these headaches. And so 
It can help with cooling. It can help support digestive health. All these things that peppermint does, how? Because it has so many compounds. So if I went to the doctor and I had a stomach ache, I had a migraine, I had a, a fever, um, and I was having hot flashes, I was having all these things, I'd probably get how many medications, right? But because it, there's so many compounds that touch so many different body systems, it's so versatile, it's so effective. So that's number one. The second reason that essential oils are so effective is that they can work inside and outside the cell. So let's take On Guard. On Guard is one of doTERRA's um, most popular essential oils. <laughs> Marin loves this one, yes. So On Guard is our protective blend. This is one that helps boost immunity and it's super powerful. We use it year round with our family, it's amazing. But I want you to imagine with me that this is your cell. Each one of our cells are surrounded by an oily membrane and that protects our cells. And if you and I get a back, if we, if we go to the doctor, we get really, really sick and he discovers it's bacteria. Bacteria kind of lives out here outside the cell. It floats around, it makes our body sick. It's a foreign thing, but he gives you what? He gives you an antibiotic, right? And eight to 10 days later, hopefully you feel better. The antibiotic is designed to kill what? It's designed to kill bacteria. So it's going to kill that bad little bacteria, but guess what else it's gonna kill? The good bacteria. It kills the good bacteria in your gut, in your intestine. Two out of three people in America today struggle with digestive issues. Digestive issues are highly linked to mood and to emotion and to hormone. Their um, the lack of good bacteria, intestinal flora is what it's called in our, in our colon, our intestine, it's um, impacting our immune system. We see so many autoimmune issues. We see allergies, all these different things that are surfacing and a lot of it is being linked to the gut, not having the proper amount of bacteria in it. And that is coming from just cycles of antibiotics or poor diet and other things. But um, back to our illustration. So if he gives you an antibiotic, it kills the bacteria. What happens if you go to the doctor and he goes, uh-oh, it's not a bacteria, you have a virus. Where's a virus live? A virus lives inside the cell. So he gets inside the cell and he hides out inside of there. And the doctor looks at you and says, what? I'm sorry, there is nothing we can do for you. And you're like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. He says, go home, drink water, sweat it out. I hope to see you soon, but it's gonna be pretty miserable. And so you go home and you're absolutely miserable. The reason he doesn't give you anything for that is because remember that oily membrane that is surrounding your cell, oil and water don't mix. And so that oil, um, that antibiotic is water-based. It does not penetrate and work on the inside of the cell. There are some medications that do. For those of you that are doctors, scientists, or biologists, I, this is a very simplistic version of this, um, but the predominant medications don't. There, it was The antibiotics is water-based. So, we solve that with essential oils. That was, that's what makes them so effective. So take On Guard, put a drop of On Guard. It smells like Christmas, literally. Um, Marin said she loves this. It smells like Christmas in a bottle. Right when she got her On Guard, she texted me a picture of her diffuser going in her house. I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas in my house. It literally does. It's got cinnamon and clove and some, it's amazing blend of like six or seven oils that smell like Christmas inside of a bottle. So if you love Christmas, you can have it all year long, just minus the presents. Um, so actually these are presents, so you can have presents too. Um, but On Guard, rub it on the bottom of your feet. Um, you can diffuse this. This is just excellent. A lot of people internalize this. If I feel a sore throat coming on, if I, uh, I um, struggled with a really, really bad sore throat, several drops um, under the tongue, hold it for 30 seconds because things absorb very quickly underneath the tongue, swish it around with water, swallowed it and amazing. Just did that consistently every couple hours when I was sick. If not, just use it one time for daily use. We're gonna talk a little bit more about how to use oils in just a second. So those are the two reasons uh, so far. That, that's two reasons why it's so effective. So natural, number one, effective. And the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're safe. Um, when it comes to safety, doTERRA has really set a new standard for safety in the industry. Up until doTERRA, there was really three grades of essential oils. There was synthetic, uh, which is the predominant piece of the pie. This is all, if you saw a pie chart, 
Synthetic is the majority of that pie, um, over three quarters of that. And it's your toxic fragrances. It's your lavender air wicks. It's your lemon furniture polish. Um, it's your can Yankee candles, you know, things that have synthetic fragrances. And what did we just learn about synthetics? If it's not alive, it can't produce life in your cells. Only living things can actually produce life in your cell. Um, so something synthetic, if we're consuming it, my rule of thumb in, in how I started to really work myself into a healthier lifestyle was starting to ask myself this question. What is in me? What's, what's going in me? What is going on me? And what's around me? As I started to evaluate all those categories of my life, I started to get rid of things that I was like, oh, that's synthetic. Oh, that's toxic. Oh, that's got bad stuff in it. And the reality is our skin's the largest organ of our body, right? So the stuff even we put on us, that we put on our hair, the laundry detergent we wash with, we're sleeping on it every single night and breathing that in. And some of you might be like, oh my gosh, that seems like so overwhelming. Some of you are people that are like jump in and you want to go for it and kind of clean out your life and detox everything. Some of you are like, let me start small with one or two things. Start wherever you're at. First off, I just want to say I applaud you for being here and learning more about how you can really take your health back into your own hands and you have to start where it's right for you. But I'm just telling you the journey that I was on. I started to really evaluate all these different areas of my life and really started the light bulbs went off of no wonder I don't feel good. No wonder there's some of these issues. Really some of it is toxic overload. There was so much stuff in my body. So I knew safety wise, I did not want synthetic essential oils. I didn't want to buy it from Walmart, Walgreens, any of those places because it's synthetic. It's not real. And think about the plastic lemon. You know, when you go to the store and you buy the plastic real lemon, it says real lemon, but it's plastic. That would be like you and I emptying out the juice and eating the plastic lemon and going, yay, I ate a lemon, it's gonna help me. It's not gonna help me, it's synthetic. My body doesn't recognize it as real, so it's actually gonna cause issues or fight it. Secondly, the second category is food. There's the food grade category of essential oils. That food grade, the government says it only has to be the grass quality for it to be put in our food. So grass is G-R-A-S, generally regarded as safe. That generally really regarded as safe standard is not a great standard for me if I'm going, how can I become more healthy? So when I look at like oregano or basil or orange flavoring extract or lemon flavoring, those type things, they look natural, but if it's only the grass quality, it's probably not gonna be contributing to my health. Um, the third type of essential oils that um, came on the scene was therapeutic. And therapeutic is what has been widely available for years, again, until doTERRA. And this grade was very unregulated. There was not any standard set on what it had to be. And because of that, it causes two main issues. One is a lot of times you're getting pesticides, you're getting heavy metals and things, even at places, um, health institutions or health food stores, you can walk in there and ask them, do you have research on this product? And they'll stare at you and be like, uh, nope. We just, they just cut contracts and make deals with people. So, you really have to look at what you're getting and know the standard. And I'm going to tell you what the standard is. The standard is doTERRA standard, which is certified pure therapeutic grade. It's on every single bottle. And a really cool thing about what doTERRA does, I don't know if you can actually even see it. Um, I think you can see that on the very bottom of every bottle is a lot number. You can go to our website. There's a website called source to you.com. You can type in the lot number on the bottom and you can see exactly um, the constituents of that product. And you can see um, the safety profile. You can see everything on it. You'll see how many times it was tested. It's pretty amazing. So our products are tested um, numerous times, but they are tested on site where it's grown. Um, they are tested, they are sent away to third party researchers, which test it hundreds of times. And then it comes to doTERRA and they put it through hundreds of other tests. So our products are literally tested hundreds of times and they're testing for heavy metals. They're testing for toxins, contaminants. If at any point in this process, doTERRA finds any of that stuff, they throw it out, lose the money and start over because they will not put it in the bottle. That is the safety promise for you. And that's the um, that is what is so amazing about, about what doTERRA has done here with the standard. Another part of our certified pure therapeutic grade standard is that it's going to be sourced in its natural environment. So if you think about um, 
if you really think about pineapple, I, if you've ever been to Hawaii or Bora Bora, I got to go to Bora Bora several years ago with my husband. And if you've ever had pineapple in one of these um, tropical locations, it's like heaven. I, I, I'd love to know if any of you ever had pineapple um, that was not from your city. <laughs> um, the pineapple here in Nashville, Tennessee does not taste like the pineapple in Hawaii or Bora Bora, I can tell you that much. And the reason is, is because plants are adaptive. They will grow where we attempt to plant them and where we attempt to grow them. Um, but it changes the chemical compound in the structure. So it might look like a pineapple, smell like a pineapple, sort of taste like a pineapple. It's a little whitish and it's a little hard. It's not like the bright yellow juicy pineapple. Has anybody been, I'm waiting on some comments here. Has anybody been to some amazing tropical location and knows exactly what I'm talking about? Yes, Kim, you have. Um, so this is, this is a big deal. Like if when plants, uh, companies will come in and just grow lavender or frankincense, here in the US, we get our lavender from the Swiss Alps, the high altitudes there and high altitudes um, of in Washington, uh, in the state of Washington, there's very specific places and temperatures and soils that doTERRA looks for. Our lemon comes from Italy. Our frankincense comes from the Middle East. And so there are very specific places that, oh my goodness, Kenya, Nikki, you've gotten pineapple in Kenya. That is amazing. I haven't had that in Caitlin, Hawaii. That's awesome. I think Kenya tops Bora Bora. Um, so, um, the, the point of all of that is doTERRA has gone to extreme lengths to make sure that the essential oils that you get work every single time, that every single bottle is the same from the last and that you are getting an effective, safe, natural product every single time that you purchase it. So what I want you to do, if you have your class guide, well, actually, let me just tell you really fast about frankincense here, because when we talk about safety, this is an amazing product. Frankincense, um, is utilized for anxiety for stress. Um, I love to put it on my wrist. I love to put it, Marin loves this one too. I love to put it on the back of my neck or under my ears. This is one of my husband's favorite products. We also um, make, I saw, um, who was it, Beth, you were saying you make all of your own products, which is incredible. I love that you do that. I do not do that, but we did make my husband a, my daughter actually, my 13 year old made him a, um, uh, aftershave lotion and put frankincense. Um, you heard Marin talking about stretch marks and skin and scarring. Frankincense is amazing for that. So putting this in your skincare products is phenomenal. Put it in every single night. I put some in my skincare products. doTERRA has some amazing uh, skincare line and I add some extra drops of frankincense and put that in and I have literally seen my skin transform since using doTERRA products. So, but I love it for, um, stress, sleep, anxiety. It's, it really promotes a sense of relaxation. So I have a really good friend and she's a power lifter, um, an Olympic, um, power lifter. And when I connected with her, we, she was into the health space, but she'd never used essential oils either. And she told me that it had been almost 20 years since she had slept through the night. And she would fall asleep, but she wouldn't stay asleep. And so I was at her house visiting her and um, told her like, hey, put some frankincense on the bottom of your feet and put some in your diffuser because it's great for anxiety. It's great for calming. It's awesome for mood and all those things. And I know she was just going so hard. Um, she wasn't necessarily feeling like I'm so stressed and anxious. It was just all internal. And the next morning she woke up and just said, Jenny, this is the first time in almost two decades that I've actually slept all the way through the night. And I was so amazed by that. I mean, again, you're talking like a couple drops of something. And like I said at the beginning of this, something so small that has become so normal was actually robbing so much performance from her and quality of life. And so something introduced to her that's natural, um, effective and safe has been an amazing resource and a tool for her. Okay. so. I want you, if you have your class guide, we do have this fun class guide download for you. Um, if you have that, I want you to turn over with me. Mine might look different than yours. There's a couple different copies out there and that's okay. Um, pretty much the same uh, content, but flip that over to the next page. And I wanna tell you the three ways to use your oils. And we've just talked about several of them. I'm gonna give you a few more solutions here in a minute, but the three ways to use your oils are aromatic, um, topical and internal. So before I jump into that though, I want someone to comment. My comments are a little bit delayed. So go ahead and comment on this. And then whenever it comes through, I'll see in just a second. I want you to write out and tell me 
um, the three things, the three cool things that I just told you about essential oils. And I have a little um, gift, a little prize for you. Whoever is the first person to tell me those three cool things about essential oils, if you haven't already won a prize. So ready, go. And I, when, as soon as I see that come up, then we'll give you a little shout out. So three things about, uh, three ways to use essential oils. Yay, Kim! Natural, safe, and effective. Congratulations, you got it. You're being a great listener. <laughs> so I know a lot of you are really listening, probably taking notes too. So good job, Kim. We have a, I have a sample for you. So I have an essential oil. Um, I'm gonna show you here. Marin talked about this, but I gotta show you this because it's so stinking cute. You see this little tiny guy? It is amazing. You just stick these in your purse and instead of always carrying like a big, huge bottle with me when I fly and I travel a ton, or just you know throwing it in my purse for the kids. I have a little keychain that holds ten of these, and it's awesome. I love these things. My kids are like, "Oh, mom, it's so cute. I love this." So I have that for you, Kim. I have you a special one. And Marin will contact you and make sure we connect on that. Okay, so three ways to use your oils: aromatically, topically, and internally. The aromatic use of oils is um, breathing it in through cupped hands. You saw me do that with the wild orange right at the beginning. Um, to just uplift and shift mood. It's amazing for opening um, airways. It's amazing for tension. Um, you can also use the aromatic use of oils with a diffuser. So the rule of thumb is like six, six to eight drops, some people eight to 10, depending on um, how, you know, how much you really like the smell of it even. But um, six to 10 drops somewhere in there. You can mix the oils. You can do different blends. There's so many different blends. If you look on Pinterest and if you go to doTERRA's blog, doTERRA.com forward slash blog, you'll see some amazing diffuser recipes on there. Um, but one that I love to do at night and um, the kids room is On Guard and breathe and i'm going to talk about breathe in just a second but these are two that are awesome for respiratory health and immune boosting and um, some other really really great ones at nighttime um, lavender a couple drops of lavender and like i mentioned my friend um, doing frankincense this is like um, the sleep elixir so if you have some sleep issues oh my goodness mix lavender and frankincense together in your diffuser for the aromatic use of oils and um, the reason that it's so powerful, I, I mean, if you think about when you go to a doctor and you, let's say you had to have surgery, maybe some of you listening, maybe you had to have surgery before, how do they put you under? They actually put a mask on you and diffuse medication to you. They say count to 30, but by seven, you're like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gone, right? It doesn't take that long. It's because your sense of smell is the most powerful connection in your brain that communicates and one single connection. So if you'll humor me for two seconds here, um, grab the bridge of your nose like this. Do this with me while you're watching. I know you look silly, but I'm really the only one that looks silly right now because I can't see you. So um, I'll just look silly for you. Take your other hand and put it on the back of your head. And I want you to just get a visual here from the bridge of your nose to the back of your head. What you're holding back here, this is your limbic system. That's the seat of your emotion, your memory, your mood, your feelings. So it's your emotion and your feelings and your memories. This is your olfactory nerve. From here to here, one single connection, one single pathway. Think about that connection, that synapsis as a pathway. It, from your sense of smell, your olfactory nerve, to that limbic system. So that connection, that's so important because our sense of smell, that connection in our brain is the only one that has a single pathway. So within 30 seconds, two minutes to two minutes max, you're you're from your sense of smell you're already getting a message to the back of your brain specifically in the in the memory part of your brain which impacts your emotions and we all know we think we're logical human beings that do everything out of what we know and think and lot you know we're so logical we're not 90 something percent of what we do comes out of what we feel so let's talk about this for a second it, if you have think right now about something that you when you smell it every time you smell it you're like oh my goodness it triggers a memory like Marin obviously um, when she smelled on garden thought of Christmas it triggered something because she started texting me like crazy she's like it's Christmas in my house with all these little emojis but she wasn't just remembering something or thinking of Christmas she was probably feeling something Maybe she was feeling happy and thinking about her kids waking up with their Christmas PJs. I don't know what it was. What is it for you? I had one lady tell me that every time she smells Aquanet, 
she thinks of her mom. Just as a little girl, she thinks about going in the bathroom and standing there smelling Aquanet, watching her mom get ready every day. So what is that smell for you that when you smell it? For me, it's cut grass. I was an athlete my whole life. I lived on a field or I lived in a court, a basketball court or a soccer field. And every time, literally, I smell cut grass, I am transported 20 years ago, holy cow, to a soccer field and I'm reliving playing in you know, our championship tournament or some big game and there's feelings there. There's emotions there. Sometimes there's sadness of like, oh, I miss it. I wish I could go back. Sometimes there's like, oh, I remember that game, that epic moment, you know? So all of us have feelings whenever that are attached to those memories. Why am I telling you that? Because the aromatic use of oils is one of the fastest ways for you and I to shift our mood. I don't know about you, but sometimes I deal with a little mood stuff. I, maybe you don't, maybe I'm alone in this, you know, maybe I can get a witness and a little hand raise on this or something. Um, but I, you know, our husbands will thank us. I will tell you that much. And the, the friends in our life, the sisters, the moms in our life will thank us for doing something for our health that can so drastically shift our mood and our emotions. We have um, psychiatrists and we have counselors who literally with their clients, their patients, they will give them essential oils right before they come in. And when they sit down, um, if they're feeling anxious, they'll give them some lavender or serenity. Um, if they, they just need that mood shift, wild orange, <laughs> Marin says she's so moody. Ooh, yep, use those oils, girl. I mean, there are, Oh, there's an oil for that. There is an oil for moodiness and it's amazing how the sense of smell can shift, has the power to shift our mood, to shift our emotions. So I will tell you, I have just heard some powerful stories. We don't realize how often our emotions truly are dictating what we're doing. And if we can get some of those under control, there is such power in that. So that's the aromatic uh, use of oils. I spent longer on that one because I feel just so strongly it impacts so many of us. Topical use of essential oils. Um, so this is really apply it to the area of concern. Um, so if I've got knee pain or shoulder pain or back pain, I'm gonna apply it right there. If I've got a headache, remember we talked about our temples, or you can remember it by this acronym, FEW, F-E-W, feet, ears, and wrist. Apply it to the bottom of your feet, just take a couple drops. So here's the uh, formula, if you will, is adults, two to four drops, you know, a day or per oil, uh, per oil of uh, a day per oil of that. And children are so really adults is three to four drops and children are one to two drops. Babies, we dilute it a lot of times and we've got an amazing resource. I'm gonna show you the resource in a second that shows you what to do, um, but never fear, doTERRA's already done that for us. They've done the hard work of already putting that into like a really cool touch roller for you. Um, but we're just gonna make it super simple. One to two drops for kids, three to four for adults. If you're, you have something chronic or something like you're sick right then, you can do it three to four times a day. Um, or space it out every three to four hours. Um, so less over, you know, and do it more frequently is kind of the rule with essential oils versus let me put on 20 drops right now. It's better to do less, do the three to four drops and space it out over the day if I have something like, um, you know, the headache that came on or I've got a really sore throat and it's just, it's nagging for 48 hours and I'm trying to get on top of it or something like that. So that is, um, that is uh, really the the formula there and um there's uh, some questions about different things with pregnancy and different things again we have an entire awesome research uh book that shows you guys um how to use these and that's the thing with essential oils once you're educated on them and you just you get a resource where people have spent tons of time tons of research putting it together it's all the best research in one book for you that i just look up pregnancy or i look up whatever it is and it tells me exactly what to use and how to use it so it's super simple and awesome there so um with topical um so feet ears underneath the ears is another place um, on the bottom of the feet, let me just say this, it absorbs into the feet very, very fast. It goes in the body and within 20 minutes, it's through the body. So if there's an oil that you don't love smelling, put it on the bottom of your feet. It's the furthest from your nose. Um, some people just sit 
in the morning and they'll put all their oils on their feet and then just throw their socks on and they're done. So some people ask me, can you layer them? Yes, you can layer them. Do we layer our salads? Do we put spinach and then strawberries and nuts? We put all this on there. So think of it like it's just natural stuff. You, your body knows what to do with it. It can separate it out and figure out what's what and what needs to go where and what helps what body systems. So you absolutely can layer it. So bottom of the feet, um, underneath the ears. This is one of my favorite places to put essential oils. I just feel like because it is so close to the brain um, and to that limbic system, I feel such a shift very quickly in mood, in emotion, in energy level. So if you're listening and you struggle with energy level or you're struggling with any of those things, anxiousness and stress, um, putting it underneath your ears and really the back of the neck, the base of the hairline, there's this little um, triangle shape thing. You'll probably feel it if you put your hand there. That's a really, that's like the perfect place. Like I rub it in my, underneath my ears because this is our um, lymph nodes helps, uh, it affects our endocrine system, our hormone system, ladies and gentlemen. And then it goes to the back of the neck. I just rub that right around in the back. You heard Marin say, even with peppermint, she just kind of rubs it in. It helps with the release tension if that's what she's using it for. So a great, a great product for um, topical use, I'll just use as an example here, is um, our deep blue product. So this is our oil our deep blue oil, and it is our soothing blend. It goes really deep, it goes to the pain. Um, if you have any sort of joint pain, if you have any sort of inflammation or anything like that, like if I had a shoulder you know, or I had a hard workout, I would just put some drops right there on my shoulder, rub that in, which actually I did this morning, so that'll feel really, really good. And I love deep blue, it helps, um, it's kind of like a, it's a natural form of like an icy hot, you feel the, that, cooling um, sensation and then we also have something called deep blue rub i love to use the oil and um for very like acute locations very specific and then i love to take this rub that has the deep blue and it even talks about how right there on it used with the oil um, you just rub that right in it's amazing i cannot tell you how much i love this product i absolutely love this product so after a hard workout, after a run, that is what one of the top uses for deep blue. Also for inflammation, I have some low back issues occasionally just from some old nagging sports injuries and I rub that on my low back um, and any sort of just joint pain. So another thing I'll talk, talk to you about really fast with um, our deep blue product. If you're somebody that really is struggling with inflammatory type joint or pain issues, this product, Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex, is literally one of my favorite. I, at the beginning, I told you my story that um, I'd struggled with um, very chronic pain and fatigue issues, and Deep Blue Complex is one that I take daily, um, and it is phenomenal. So it, get, it helps with the inflammation, it helps with that pain, and so if that's where you're at, or if you just wake up every morning, maybe you, don't, you haven't had a label of a disease or a diagnosis, but you wake up in the morning and you're starting to really feel your body, or you're like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel my age, this is the perfect product for you. It helps with that inflammation, it helps with that transition as we age with the joint pain and the different things that we're feeling. Um, Okay, so that is the topical use. So we've talked about aromatic, topical, and the last one that we're gonna talk about here is, um, is internal. So a great way to internalize essential oils is just grab a glass, um, and you wanna put it in glass, not plastic. And one of my favorite things to do, I love to internalize lemon every morning. I wake up before I eat, and I just put um, three drops in my water, just like that, and I just down that. Another awesome one I love, like midday, how much you've talked, I've talked about wild orange. I love to put wild orange in my water around lunch because it's so uplifting. It helps shift the mood and it smells amazing. Another really great one in water, a citrus oil that we have is grapefruit. You ladies that um, are wanting some metabolism help, you're really wanting some metabolism support, grapefruit does that. We have a specific blend that's really our metabolic blend. It's called Slim and Sassy. Um, that you can do in water, but grapefruit, it's grapefruit is in that product. It's really, really, really great for metabolism and blood sugar balancing if you have blood sugar issues. So that is a great example. Um, I love to internalize the citrus oils. I had already mentioned internalizing like on guard when I was feeling like scratchy, sore throats. Um, right now, this time of year, um, if you're watching this at a later date, it is May 2018. And right now things are still in full bloom. And so this time of year, one of my favorite blends of stuff and you can internalize this. Um, you can even put it in a little gel cap if you don't wanna put it in water, um, but is peppermint, lemon, and lavender. This is our bomb 
for seasonal issues. If you, if things start blooming and you start having issues, this is our bomb for it, two drops of each. So, so lemon, lavender, and peppermint, two drops of each of those. You can, um, you can diffuse that, so aromatic. You could internalize that and help on the inside, or you could topically um, apply that again to your chest, neck, but another way to, def to do that, some people put two drops of each in their hand and breathe that in. So um, trying to hit some of the, the things that I saw several people talk about that issues. Um, and Marin has said that this year she has done so much better in that category. I wanna show you because it is the time of year, um, I'm kind of, I wanna just really focus in on the top 10 oils for, to build your medicine cabinet. But a couple side things, um, cause I know some of you mentioned really this time of year struggling with that. We have a product called Try Ease that if you don't really want to make your own lemon lavender peppermint mixture for this time of year, um, it is our seasonal blend soft gel and it is amazing. This is one of my absolute most favorite products um, and it's just a, a teeny little soft gel. It's about six or seven drops of, of the essential oil already in there blended for you in the perfect blend um, for, for really seasonal issues as well as the breathe which i'm going to talk about here is incredible we have breathe drops for this time of year and even in winter so winter uh, time so breathe is our respiratory blend if you can see that this um, essential oil is awesome you can take this oil and apply it again topically so i would put it on my chest if i'm to open up airways I love to put this one like right underneath my nose and just rub that in or right across the bridge of my nose if, my, if I'm having sinus issues. Um, this is my son, Asher. His name is Asher. This is his favorite oil because he does struggle when, with just really grass. And when things are blooming and the grass is being cut, this is the one he literally, if he wakes up sneezing, I hear him, his little feet, he comes running down the steps. He goes straight to the oil box on our counter. He grabs it, he puts two drops in his hand he knows to rub it together and he sits there and he cups his hand and he breathes and it's like instantly stops his sneezing. So that is an amazing one. Every night he takes that and he sticks it right on his chest and rubs that in and he goes, mommy, I just love this. It makes me feel so peaceful. Um, and you know, I just think it's very calming. It just opens up all those airways where he can breathe. That's another really great one in your kids diffusers in their bedroom at night. Doterra has some really great diffusers, one that goes four hours, one that goes eight hours, and one that even goes 10 hours. So I love the, the longer ones that go all night because I can load it up and have it go all night long. Okay, let me tell you about our last couple products in our top 10 here. We've talked about peppermint and those uses. Lemon is excellent for detoxing. If weight loss is something that you're really wanting, um, lemon is great for that. I mentioned a couple others. The citrus oils really help the body to detox. Um, lemon can also be used for cleansing and purifying. I carry this in my purse. Um, I have this and then I put it in the teeny tiny little guy like this, stick it in my purse and I carry that with me everywhere because it's purifying. It literally kills bacteria. So when you go to a restaurant, you're going out to eat and you've got tap water and you're not really sure what's in the tap water, throw a couple drops of lemon in there and it will kill it. It'll purify it. Um, digest then. Marin mentioned this. This is our digestive blend. This is great for gas and bloating and um, upset stomach and things like that. This is a lifesaver, guys. If you're wanting to build a natural medicine cabinet, this is one because who wants to have that issue hit you and you're like, I don't even know what to do. Like to even run to the store and get something over the counter is so frustrating. And then you're not sure if it's gonna work. And then again, it's got the side effects. So this, you just take a couple drops you lift your shirt, put a little bit right by your belly button, rub that in. Or another really great way to use this is just if you have like um, daily digestive health issues, which I mentioned was a big piece for me, I daily put this on the bottom of my feet at night so that while I'm resting and my body's repairing and, sleep and I'm sleeping, it's going to town working and it's supporting my body um, digestively. So that one's a phenomenal product for digest um, digestive health. On Guard, we talked about as our protective blend. That's great, again, for just immunity and sickness and seasonal things and killing germs. That is a phenomenal product that everybody needs. It is, um, I can't tell you how many testimonies, month after month, year after year, I hear of, I used to always get sick. My kids used to always get sick. But since starting that On Guard stuff every day, like, we don't get sick anymore. Um, so it's pretty awesome. 
Deep blue, we talked about frankincense, we talked about for anxiety, stress. You can add a couple drops into your skincare regimen and rub that in. Um, you can, you know, your husband can use that in aftershave. It just, it'll make him, if you should see my husband, um, he's really good looking. And he is, um, I can say that, but he looks really, really young. And I know it's because he uses frankincense like crazy on his skin. He's got this amazing baby face. So um, breathe, we talked about, and some of the different variations and forms that that comes in. We have not talked about melaleuca. I'll mention this really fast because some of you I know have said um, skin issues are something for you. So this is awesome, awesome, awesome for um, Marin mentioned this is a huge one that she mentioned as a, a part not only of immune boosting, melaleuca helps um, with infection. So if you get sick, rub this in addition to on guard on the bottom of your feet, it will zap infections. But it is also amazing for like cold sores and skin issues, um, any sort of skin issues. You can mix it even in a lotion. Um, hold on, I'm gonna show you one thing real fast. Don't go anywhere, I should have grabbed this. But doTERRA has an unscented lotion and I just put some in my hand and I put a couple drops of melaleuca in or for those of you really awesome DIYers, grab a cute little thing from Hobby Lobby or somewhere, fill it up with the doTERRA unscented lotion, add your amazing oils in, mix it all together, and then you've got your lotion potion. So there you go. So melaleuca is incredible for anything skin. My teenage girls swear by this. So we have a, a kind of a, a, an acne skincare line called HD Clear. But after they apply that, they take melaleuca and stick it straight on any acne spot. So my 15-year-old Micaiah, my 13-year-old is Eden, and they love this. Um, so hopefully they won't kill me for saying that, but they love it. Oregano, I mentioned, is Hippocrates, one of his favorites. Um, it's kind of like an antibiotic um, because you use it for like 8 to 10 days to really help boost the immune system. And it's very, very powerful. You can even cook with it which is awesome. We put a drop, a little tiny drop into our spaghetti sauces and homemade uh, pasta dishes and things like that. And then lavender, I mentioned for sleep and for rest, really promoting rest. Um, so one thing about this, don't think like, okay, I'm gonna use lavender and then in the middle of the day I'm gonna like pass out. It's not a drug and it's not a sleep aid. It's telling your nervous system to calm down. Like a lot of us are just so like wired. So if you also think about kids, how many kids have, um, they're just, their nervous systems are very heightened and on alert and they're wild. Lavender, diffuse lavender, diffuse wild orange for in those situations. Um, and then the last two, I'm going to tell you about two extras um, that I did not mean, that are not in our top 10. But balance and serenity are two of my favorite blends. So balance is our grounding blend and serenity is our restful blend. What, what I'm talking about when I say blend is this is a single oil, lavender, and this is a blend, serenity. So for the majority of people, lavender works and it's amazing. But the way essential oils are is they work with your body and every, everybody's body is different. We all have different chem, chemical makeups. And so if Marin and I were to go to the, to the doctor, let's say we were both struggling with depression and he... Um, he wrote us a prescription, each of us the same one for the same medication. We go to the, we go home, we take that for a few weeks and we come back in for a checkup and Marin's like, man, this is amazing, it's working great. And I come back and I'm like, man, this isn't working at all. The doctor doesn't say, oh my goodness gracious, like let's just toss medication. It doesn't work at all. Like, I don't even know what to do, it doesn't work. He goes, that's okay, we'll find you a different one. And I want you to come and approach essential oils with the same mindset. Because if one doesn't work for you, guess what? There are four, five, six other plants that just the way God made them, they have similar profiles and you can try a different one and it will probably work for you. So where it might work for one, it may not work for the other. And so that is why doTERRA has created blends. Like Serenity, for instance, is our restful blend. And it is phenomenal. It's a blend of six different, um, I believe six, eight, different essential oils that are all, they show a similar profile of promoting rest. And so it's kind of your surefire, like if you're really, really struggling with rest and sleep and balance is our grounding blend, which it does exactly what it sounds like. It's very grounding. So again, for very high 
energy or anxious people, it is very much like that. So again, you probably heard me mention a few that even cross over, but I'm giving you some options in case as you start your oil journey, you're like, oh, this one didn't work for me. That's okay. I just take that same approach of if one doesn't work, we're going to go until we find the next one. Okay. So there's our top 10. Plus I gave you a couple others like serenity balance and wild orange. And we mentioned a few other things. The last thing I want to tell you about is something that is actually doTERRA's number one best-selling product on our loyalty rewards program, which is like a members only benefit um, auto ship program where you get points back. And this product is, this is called lifelong vitality pack. And it's got three different supplements in it. And just to summarize this pack, think of it like if you are struggling to eat healthy and you are not getting your six to eight vet fruits and veggies a day, um, you are not getting the right amount of protein. You're not getting all those vitamins in your food. Um, if you have low energy um, and if you have any sort of inflammation in your body, this is for you. So this helps with mood, inflammation, um, energy, and just foundational nutrition, these three products. This is a product that my husband and I do every single month without fail. Um, we, it's just like building a house. When we, we just, we moved into a new house a couple years ago, we would never buy a house on a cracked and faulty foundation. So when it comes to my health, I want to build it on a solid foundation. I don't want to build on a faulty foundation. I've got to supply my body the fuel that it needs. Think about it like I could have a car sitting in my driveway with all the working parts, but not put any gas in the tank. Essential oils, supplementing with nutrients, that is our gas that we need, where if we don't get that every day, here is par we we wake up and this is par for us this is where we need to be and most of us are subpar because of either you know just the pace of life we're at we're stressed we're tired we're not sleeping well it's just such a bad cycle so we start here every day and if we can start to get ourselves where we are starting here or here every day because we are providing the gas in the tank and the fuel and the support that our cells need to really go to really do what we need to do then we're going to be in a much better place. So um, one last product I really want to tell you about because I know there's a lot of ladies on this call and some of you mentioned hormone issues. This is a must have in your medicine cabinet. It's called Clary Calm and it is our monthly blend for women. So you can imagine what this helps with, but any spectrum of hormonal issues, the body, this helps tell the body how to regulate those. And so it is phenomenal. It is a blend of oils that you don't want to go without. I have this hilarious picture of my daughter. Actually, I walked in and she is laying in the middle of the floor, like clutching Clary Calm. She is in a ball because she was cramping so bad. And she's just like rocking going, please work, please work, please work. And just a few minutes later, I come back and she's like, it's a modern day miracle. It works. And it was just, it's just really, really funny because I have been continually shocked at how quick essential oils work. So again, it's so awesome that my kids even are learning um, to grab things that don't have the side effects. They're learning to grab something that that's natural, that I can equip and train them very easily in how to use it. And I don't have to fear that it's going to have all the, un, un, the harmful side effects to it. Okay, so the last thing in closing I want to tell you, we've talked about three cool things about essential oils. We've talked about three ways to use them. We've talked about tons of solutions that hopefully you can take with you after this class and begin applying right away. I want to tell you, my favorite part is to tell you how to get these amazing essential oils, these gems into your home. Okay, so there are, there are three different ways that you can purchase your oils. And the first way is retail. And honestly, retail is not the smartest way to purchase your oils because you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay more. You're gonna pay 25% higher on every oil. And um, you, you know, you're gonna use it, you're gonna wanna try another one and you're gonna pay 25% more on the next one. The second way, which is a very smart way to buy the oils, is becoming a wholesale member. It's kind of like a Costco. If you have a Costco near you, you buy a membership, you get to come be a part of the club now and you get to shop and get all the discounts and all that cool stuff. And that's how doTERRA's um, wholesale customer program works. So um, you get 25%, you pay 25% below retail by, being, uh, by buying wholesale. And um, you can either pay $35 to become a wholesale customer, a wholesale member, and you get that 25% discount, 
or you can do it even a more smart way, which is to purchase what's called an enrollment kit. So a lot of the oils that I showed you to tonight, um, they come kit like kitted together. doTERRA has put them together the way that they have watched purchasing patterns and said people are constantly buying these same 10 oils that we talked about. So these are our top 10 right here. And um, I've showed you a couple additional ones and I'm gonna sh show you really fast a couple of the kits that you can get. If you're sitting in a place where you're going, gosh, I want to, I want a, um, a total detox, a total overhaul on my life right now. Something, we have something called the Diamond Kit and it is all of doTERRA's products. It's everything that I have shown you plus the skincare and plus all the oils. So this is kind of a starter natural solution, um, medicine cabinet type starter kit that I've shown you, but there's one that's kind of the Mac daddy of all oil kits. And it's amazing for those of you that have all your minds kind of worrying with all these things that you're like, gosh, I, I want to make sure I have that oil. And I want to make sure I have that oil because we've got my fa My husband's dealing with this. My kids are dealing with this. I'm dealing with this. And a lot of people just don't like to not have it on hand. And then I'll show you an amazing resource in a second that will tell you what to do with them. Um, so that's, if you want to start with that, there's some incredible member benefits that you'll get with that. You'll get free product credit points with that. So check that out. Another amazing place that people love to get started is our, something called a natural solutions kit. It's kind of a mini version, mini pared down version of that diamond kit. It's got a spattering of all of doTERRA's products. It's got oils. It has a diffuser. It has um, our hair care, skin care. It has this amazing deep blue rub and some other really cool stuff in that kit. So check that one out as well. And then the last kit that I want to tell you about is um, the, the one that has the top 10 in it. So we have a kit that has all 10 of these oils plus a diffuser and it's called the home essentials kit. And we'll make sure that you have this and you can see a PDF of, of all of these. The home essentials kit comes with these top 10 plus a diffuser. There is a smaller version of that, that you can see this 15 ounce bottle. And then you can see a five ounce bottle. So 15 ounces, five ounces, this is three times the amount of oil. So the, the family essentials kit is the same 10 oils, but it's the smaller versions of them, the five uh, milliliter sizes and no diffuser. So, um, and if you look at the price, you'll be able to see those later. The family essentials, the smaller bottles versus the home essentials, the bigger plus the diffuser, it is three times the oil and not even twice the price. So it is by far a better value than the family essentials. My personal, I got started with a diamond kit. I'm just someone that says I want what's in me, on me and around me. I want to clean it out and I want to make sure I have every oil. So um, you can get started. What we want to help you do is to help you get started in the place that's right for you. Like I said at the very beginning of this, every one of us is on a different journey in our health. Every one of us is at a different place in our life. And the important thing is that you get started where it's right for you. And we're gonna equip you. We're gonna make sure that you know exactly what to do with your oils. So on that note, um, I wanna show you a couple of really cool things that I have for you. Um, and really, I said there's three ways to purchase. So retail, wholesale, the last way is the loyalty rewards program that I mentioned. And that's a short for that is LRP. The loyalty rewards program is a way that you can every single month as a, as a wholesale member, you can purchase your oils through that program and get a percentage of that back to you in the form of points or doTERRA dollars that you get to cash in for free. So it is a phenomenal way. That is the smartest way to buy because if I'm gonna buy my oils or my lifelong vitality, um, I buy that plus this and several other things every single month, I get a percentage of that back to me. You can, you start it, you could start somewhere, some of you, your kit, what determines where you start is the kit you purchase. You can start down at 10%, you can work your way all the way up to 30%. I get 30% rewards back every single month. Then it just sits there, I can cash those in whenever I wanna use those for free products. So I have a couple gifts for you. Anybody that purchases the um, diamond kit, um, I've got some really, really cool stuff for you that I'll show. I'm actually going to show you that in just a second. So doTERRA has an amazing special that I'll tell you about first. If you're watching this post May 2018, this does not apply to you. But um, for right now, we are in the month of May and I want you to know what doTERRA has for you this month for any order that you place that is 200 points or more. So the home essentials kit and higher, what, that's what it would apply to. They're actually going to gift you 
On Guard toothpaste, so you've heard us talk, Marin has raved about On Guard. This is the Christmas in a bottle one that helps with immune boosting. We have toothpaste with it. This is what my kids got in their stocking. One of the things they got in their stocking this year and they love it. It's a whitening toothpaste, it's all natural, and it's boosting your immune system. What could get better? Toothpaste, wild orange. So I've raved about this wild orange. You get this bad boy free this month. This is like the mood mama. I mean, it is it is amazing. I love it. You also get an additional bottle of On Guard free this month. And I just dropped the last thing. Hold on. Okay, the last amazing thing that you get for free with a 200 point order this month is our On Guard sanitizing spray. This spray is something I carry in my purse. You can put it in a diaper bag. You can spray down the grocery cart handle. You can um, spray down, I fly a lot, I told you, the little airplane tray. You can spray your hands. So instead of a toxic um, hand sanitizer, you've got this. My kids have these in their backpacks and I've got it in my purse. So this is a, a awesome product. So all of this stuff is totally free for you this month for any 200 point order or more. In addition to that, anybody that purchases a 200 point order or more this month, I'm gonna send you this incredible resource. This is called The Essential Life Book, and it's a mini little book that you can put in your car, you can put in your purse or briefcase, and some of you are like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna remember everything this chick is saying? If you know your alphabet, then you can do essential oils. And if you don't, Marin and I will teach you a little song after all this is over so that we can make sure that you are equipped. Because if you know your alphabet, I'm telling you, I'm really actually not that smart. I just, I'm good at looking up things in alphabetical order. Um, you just look it up in alphabetical order and it tells you exactly, it says acne, acid reflux, um, ADD, you know, it lists it all. We're on A right now. And if you keep going all the way to Z, it will give you five different oils. Remember I told you not everybody's body is the same. So the way you use this resource is look at it, find whatever kit you purchase, or if you're getting like the basic kit, if you got the diamond kit, you don't even have to worry about this because you'll have all of these, but whatever kit you purchase, look for the oil in that list and start there. Start with that oil that you see listed for that issue and begin applying it. And it goes a step further and has a really cool little color coded picture system that shows you how to use it. It has a little hand, for topical, it has a little glass for internal, and it has a little nose for aromatic. It'll show you all the ways to use that oil. And then in the back, it gives a little bit more, um, uh, I'm sorry, in the front of this one, this one's just A to Z all the way to the back. In the front, it talks about each of those uses and how to use it. So what I talked to you about tonight, if you're like, I'm never gonna remember it all, it's in here. So for my gift to you for joining this and for your purchase this, this month, um, of a 200 point order or more, that is my gift to you. Okay, so those of you that purchased the Natural Solutions Kit or higher, this daddy is yours. And this is the Mac Daddy. We have nicknamed this the Oil Bible for a reason. You can see how thick it is. A little different from this guy, but this is awesome because it's very transportable. But this is even more awesome. So it has all these sections same so it lists the A to Z and there's a lot of them it has a whole section on single oils so anything you want to know we're, we turn to Melissa and Murr it'll tell you the top uses it'll tell you how it's um, how it's actually extracted how doTERRA does that tells you what it means tells you some tips um, it has our blends in here and then if you keep going to this next section it actually breaks down our supplements so some of you are like, I really want to know a little bit more about doTERRA supplements. What do they do? Whole section on that. And then if you'll notice in your A to Z section, there's a page number and that page number indicates like if, if I'm looking on something on, um, you know, respiratory health, I will flip to that section. Obviously right now it, this is about addiction. So it'll tell me which section to flip to. Um, allergies and I'll read a little bit about it it'll give me top solutions and remedies and it'll tell me exactly what to do and then different conditions for that so this book is phenomenal it talks and then the back you'll see a whole recipe section snacks breakfast dessert you can cook with your oils it's pretty awesome so this is my gift to you if you purchase the natural solutions kit or higher obviously if you're watching this video in post and you are not 
a part of this class right now. This may not apply to you, but um, this is for those that are here listening to this with Marin's class. This is a, a bonus and a special that I am gifting to you. This is a $40 value that I will ship to you. And um, this one in addition to that. So you will not only will you get the big one, let me be clear, you will get both of these for natural solutions kit or higher. Those of you that purchase anything above that natural solutions kit, like there's an every oil kit or the diamond kit, in addition to those, I also have this really amazing, we've got several different colors and types, you know, because everybody likes different stuff, but these clutches are incredible. They take, they, you can carry around 10 different oils. You can put them in these pockets. Um, they can go with you, travel with you. It's super handy, super cute, and that will be yours also, and I will ship that out. So Marin's going to get all that information from you and make sure that we get you hooked up. And I'm actually going to join Marin back in because um, I know sometimes it takes a second here. So I'm going to go ahead and join her in and as I just close out here. But I wanted to just first off thank you and tell you that people that come to doTERRA, one thing that I have found over time is that people that come to doTERRA they come and they want to get involved in one of three ways. They either want to live better. They want to use our products to really radically change their life. Maybe they want to share. That's another pathway that a lot of people that come to doTERRA take. And they, maybe you've been listening to this class and you're going, gosh, I wish my mom was listening to this. Or I'm thinking about my best friend or my cousin. They have got to hear this information. Send them the replay. As long as Marin has this up, we'll get this replay to you. Um, you can share and a lot of people actually get their doTERRA products paid for, which is phenomenal because it's like free healthcare. That's how I look at that. And the last thing that people do, so some people want to live better, they want to share and some people want to build. And those people that want to build, they really see the bigger picture. They want to build a future. They want to build, they want to contribute to their family's finances. Maybe they want time freedom. And my husband and I, as I mentioned, we have worked together in this industry. Now I've been in this industry, gosh, for about 18 years, but we've worked together for 10 um, 10 of that. And I just want to share the biggest reason that he and I both got involved in this is um, years ago, we had an infant son that passed away in his sleep. He actually suffocated in his crib um, during nap time um, at night. And that tragedy, he was our number three. And that literally sent us down a completely different path of understanding the value of a minute. And if you, um, as we maybe get to know each other on this journey, you'll know that my husband and I, we're all about time. We're all about um, capturing moments with our family, creating opportunities for people to grow forward and really maximizing life, living it to the fullest. And it came from that. And that is why we do what we do. We do it because we care about you. We care about individuals really getting to live the life that they want. And we have an incredible team of people all over the world. We are in multiple countries. Um, as Marin already kind of alluded to at the beginning, we have a team that knows how to help you succeed. If this is something that, uh, if there's anything stirring in you that's like, gosh, this, this vision of this company is amazing, the mission's amazing, and there's something stirring in you of really wanting to either have that time freedom. Um, we do what we do so we can be there for our kids and be a part of everything that they have going on in their lives. And it's been amazing for us. doTERRA has absolutely been a blessing in our family financially as well as our health. And so I just want to thank you. I want you to know that that conversation is on the table. If you want to have that conversation with myself or Marin, we would love to chat with you and talk to you about that. And I'm going to turn our time over to Marin. Um, actually, last but not least, I want to make sure that you know our worst fear is that you purchase your oils and they sit on your counter and you don't know what to do with them. So don't worry. Don't fear. We're here for you. We will make sure you know how to use what you have. When you join our team, Part of the thing, part of what we gift you with is another conversation, a consultation where we will walk you through how to use your oils and make sure that you know what to do with them on a daily basis. And Maren can chat with you more about that, but we will make sure you know what to do. So Maren, thank you so much for having me tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny, so much. Um, that information was so, so, so good. I love it. It just makes me want to like run over to my oils and just bathe in all of them. <laughs> I have been this whole time. <laughs> I know you're all oiled up. I am. Um, thank you guys. Thanks everybody for joining. If you have any questions, just uh, email or not email message me and I'll be in touch with you just to see um, what you guys are thinking about. But thanks for joining us and spending the time. And for those of you watching the playback, feel free to message me as well. Um, yeah. Thanks for taking time out of your night and awesome. we'll be in touch. You're welcome guys. Yeah. We'll be in touch. We want to help you get started with what's right for you. So we'll be talking to you soon.
Talk to you later, everyone. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.